What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of P5R. In the last episode we did some confidanting and we tried to we've been trying to build up our guts, but we haven't been successful in doing so. But it's all good. Uh, and in this episode we're gonna start it off by um hold on, I wanna check something. Yeah, man, guts is almost there. Ugh, I just feel it. Anyways. We're gonna go ahead and hang out with Hifumi today. So let's go ahead and head on over to Kanda. I could have just accepted the message instead of, uh, <laughs> so I went to spend the 200 yen, but I mean, it's just 200 yen. We're good on that. And I was, we could, we did have the, oh my gosh, I can't talk. We also did have the option to hang out with Coffee Dad, but I feel it's best to hang out with Hifumi so we can get Hifumi's, um, Memento's request underway because on our way to rank eight, uh, she will have a comp uh, confidant, a Memento's mission for us. So that's why I wanted to hang out with her so we can get that out of the way and then we can ha we'll have more time to hang out with Coffee Dad. So yeah. So let's do it. What's up, you for me? <laughs> my thinking gets sharp sharper on rainy days. The sound of raindrops increases my focus. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm not in the mood for a match right now. I can't teach you Shogi right now. Or rather, from now on. I'm at a checkmate right now. My only option is to concede, but I can't seem to give up. I'm not sure what my next move is after this checkmate. Even me seems trouble. With my overflowing knowledge, I can hang out with her. Yeah, let's hang out with Heat for me. What? Thank you. You are welcome. Actually. Before we play, I'd like to talk to you about something. My mother told me that I should lose my upcoming ex exhibition match against the pro. Really? What do you mean? It's a strategy she devised. She says that if I, if I lose to a man, I'll get sympathy from women. And as a result, get more female fans. Then when I make a comeback, I'll become a symbol for strong women everywhere. That way, I can use the weekly magazine's popularity against them and instantly become fam uh, famous. Um, I don't think that'll, that'll work. I wish I could agree, but I feel my mother might, may be right. People do have a good comeback story. Coming from the TV industry, my mother does have great insight for entertainment. This time around, I couldn't help but argue. It's the wrong thing to do. I actually got into a fight with my mother. It wasn't the first time, but what, what made me sad was I realized my mother doesn't see me as a Shoki player. She said there's uh, there's no need for me to be putting so much time and effort into Shoki. It's terrible. And that once and then oh uh, that once I become famous, I can quit Shoki and make money for my looks. The only reason she continues to support my Shogi career is so she can profit off of me as an idol. She doesn't mind if I lose a match, as long as I build my reputation to make money. To my mother, Shogi is just a vehicle to make me famous. However, Losing on purpose is wrong. Even if it helped me to become famous and ease my parents' burden, I don't want to turn my back on Shogi, a game that both my father and I love. Well, let's do something about it. If only there was, that was possible. She's the type of woman who never changes her mind. She wants to achieve her unfulfilled dream of becoming a celebrity through me. I highly doubt she would ever consider, reconsider. Oh, what's your mother's name? It's Mitsuyo, Mitsuyo Togo. Um, what does that have to do with what we're talking about? I need to do something about the target. Yeah. And with that, we now have a Mementos mission for Hifumi. All right, Cuckoo. Wow. What's that smell? Did you get a new perfume? It's nice. Yeah, it's a new fall fa uh, fragrance. It's supposed to be mysterious like the Phantom Thieves. I thought I'd wear it to shield my support while they're out here taking down an evil corporation. A show of support, huh? I can post a photo online of all the plan uh, fan merch I've, I've amassed. Maybe they'll be motivated by how uh, passionate their fans are. Maybe, maybe not. I 
I gotta say, looks like everyone's coming up with roses now that Haru's on our side. Hmm? But flowers die in autumn, do they not? And ignore. <laughs> How about you, Haru? Have you gotten used to all of this yet? Yes, thanks to Yes, thanks to all of you. Just chatting like this is great. I never really had a chance to do such things back until now. This isn't the time for me to be enjoying myself though. Don't worry about it. This class is boring as shit anyways. You know I'm reading this, right? Here we go again. Haru, one's personal resolve uh, paves new path. Uh, it was the same circumstance with, uh, for me. Regardless, about two weeks remain. We should stay on guard. We will, we will. We're good, we're good. Alright, let's see who's available today. What are we, what are you doing today? If we're going to the palace, let me know. We're not going to the palace. What are doing today? I uh, just finished up some student council work. Just let me know if anything comes up. I'll be at school for a little while longer. Hmm, we might go hang out with her. Ooh, we could also hang out with uh, Maruki. Maruki. Let's see. Are those the only two available? Oh. And then work. I don't worry about that. Let's see. Confidants. What we are at rank eight with Maruki. We could also get to rank nine with Makoto. Um I think we hang out with mm, mm, Maruki or Makoto. That's hard because I know Maruki has like a deadline date to max him out, but I don't know when that is. So I feel like I should prioritize my uh, Maruki to, uh, for now, or Maruki for now. So I think we're going to hang out with Maruki then, because I just feel like we should go ahead and get him maxed out as quickly as possible so we don't have to worry about that, because I mean, our party member is going to be around for, like forever. So let's head on to the practice building and we'll hang out with Makoto another day. We should go ahead and get to this rank 9 with Maruki. Well, hey, good work today. It's already autumn. You expect it to get a little less hot, huh? Thank you for, for helping me the other day. My, my, my paper's coming to an end, and it's all thanks to you. So, do you want to stop by? I won't take much of your time. Sure, we have a Nanta. Hmm. Thank you. Now step right in. I've got some snacks and drinks ready. All right, Cuckoo. Thank you. Thanks for coming. You see, there's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. I know this is a little personal, but... You remember how my former girlfriend uh, came up the other day, Rumi? Yeah. We were even engaged. If you can believe that. She was so cheerful. I mean, she could get pretty aggressive. She was always kind of hot, kind of hot-headed, but always so kind, too. She was the best thing that ever happened to me. I didn't deserve her, but... If we had our shot, my life would have been so much happier than it had ever been. <laughs> but reality is never that simple. A burglar broke into her family's home. Really? Rumi and I ha had been visiting. We were there to see what he'd done to them. It was just bad luck. But it didn't, it didn't end there. He must have been desperate to escape. He attacked Rumi on his way out. I was right, about, I was right there with her. I was right there with her. And I can do anything. <laughs> Pathetic, right? We were lucky Rumi's injuries weren't more, her, uh, weren't more severe, her physical ones at least. But the shock of the incident was too much. She had a mental breakdown. Oh! Wow. We talked about that, didn't we? How wounds of the heart aren't as straightforward as physical ones? She never really recovered from what happened, even after all this time. I kind of lost myself in that pain for a while, too. Why? She didn't deserve that. None of them did. None of them did anything wrong. I... Sorry. I'm sorry. When I saw her in, in that hospital bed, I made a vow. 
I swore that I'd do all I could to fight back against the unfairness of reality. If someone suffered like that, I'd help. Like I said before, Rumi's in a better mental place now. She's happy. But that pain I felt back then, that's how this project was born. And thanks to you, I finally found the true goal of that research too. I don't care how long it takes me, I'll make my dream come true. <laughs> For Rumi's sake, of course. But for you too, Strikun. I honestly don't have the words to say what all, all this means to me. But I can at least say this. Thank you. So much. For everything. Thanks to you, I found my answer. And once it's over, or once it's ready, I hope you'll let, uh, you'll let me use it to help you find the happiness you deserve. My path is clear now. I think this will probably be the last time I come to you about the paper. Wow, that's actually kind of sad. I know how you feel. It meant a lot to me too. I'll let you know when I re really when I finally finish that paper. When I do, I have to thank you one last time. You helped me see my dream through. I uh, see my dream my dream through. I owe you so much. Now, but for now, I should uphold my end of the deal. I've got a really special one for you today. I think you're ready for something on another level now. I can sense a strong bond of friendship. Detox DX. Raises the chance of detox. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Alright. Alright. Also, there's one more thing I want to tell you, but I'll save it until I finish my paper. I just hope you can forgive me for it. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, don't mind me. Sorry. That came out way too ominous. Oh, I wonder what that is. Thanks to Marky's mental training, my mind feels stronger. Alright. Alright, our SP goes up by three or five. Fulfiller. Okay, nice. Well, see you. Alright, see ya, dude. Ah, you're back. Alright, cool. What are we gonna do tonight? Uh, let's see. We could hang out with Coffee Dad. But who else is available? That actor. Okay, hang out with Mishima. Uh, the ADP. We could work with Chihaya to get her out of the way. Uh, Matt, go ahead and max her out. Well, I don't, I don't think we're at rank 9 with Chihaya. I think we're only at rank 8. Uh, let me check. Yeah, we're only at rank eight with her. Um, so it was between you, uh, Mishima. I think we'll be fine without Mishima for now. And then Coffee Dad. So I think we'll hang. Up, we'll go hang out with the Chi, with uh, Chihaya because we could. Get, the closer we get to maxing her out, the less we have to worry about uh, other, or the less confidence we have to worry about. So we are going to go hang out I with. Uh, Chihaya. Okay. My cat's big chillin'. I just go ahead, accept her message so we don't have to pay money. Alright, we'll grow stronger soon, so that's good. The thing is. So. I got all the members of the ADP together, and I gave them a big group apology. They didn't really believe what I was saying at first, but the truth of the matter settled in eventually. It's just... However, it seems like the members from the executive class uh, are still brainwashed. I'm going to talk to the lawyer right now, though. We're going to get refunds and outpatient, uh, outpatient care for all of them. I'm going to give back all the money I made from selling Holy Stones, too. It's the least I can do to atone for the ignorance I showed back then. That's why I want you to accept this, Strike Son. Think of it not only as, as an apology, but as a sign of gratitude for helping me see the truth. And we get our money back from way back at the beginning of this confidant. Nice. Maiden, I'm so happy to see you. What? Yokura son? What are you all doing here? That apology you gave us was all made up, wasn't it? Somebody had to have forced you to say that stuff. I mean, 
The chairman was obviously framed. Tell us the truth, please. No. Um. N none of it was made up. Um. As for the chairman, I need you to listen to me. Everything he told you in those seminars was a lie. The promises of a great future, the power of the holy stones, the need for donations, all lies. Doesn't it seem strange that he kept asking members for money, even through times of financial stress? And beyond that, you guys should have known better than, any, than anyone uh, where those donations were ending up. Mm. Even I knew how horrible the ADP scheme was. That's why I had to come forward. No, that can't be true. You, are you the one who did this to our beautiful maiden? Listen to what she's saying. Shut your mouth. Please, stop this. He has nothing to do with your situation. I'm the one who sold you those rocks. If you're going to get upset with anyone, it should be with me. But, Maiden, this can't be happening. No, we must continue to place our trust in her. Please, Maiden, cleanse us of our misery. If you, if you leave us now, we'll be fated to drown in sorrow. Look, the only way you can change that is change that is with your own convictions. Neither I nor one of those worthless stones will be able to help you. But, but then, how are we supposed to avoid our fated misery? No, a curse is upon us. Maiden, please. Uh. Oh, will you shut your traps? Y'all need to simmer down and listen to what I have to say for once. Whether you're going to be miserable or that... Or not on your da own damn shoulders. You don't need some divine power mumbo jumbo to be changing your fate. Y'all got that strength in yourselves. Fortune telling can't hold a candle to honest to goodness willpower. And heck, even if there's bad things now, it'll all be fine so long as you keep your heads up. Oh, um... oh I'm, I'm sorry about that. All this stress caused me to lapse into my country dialect. But. I stand by what I said. Nothing will ever change if all of you if all all you do is rely on others. Take me for example. I thought I was destined to live as a monster, but I had the strength to reverse that fate. If you want to control your future, that's all you need. Strength. The only way forward is through the fortitude of your own heart. My heart? It might not be the easiest thing to, to accomplish at first. After all, your willpower has been constantly uh, suppressed by all those seminars and donations. I'm partially to blame for that. I'm here with you. But that's why I need you to show you the light now and help you push on. Maiden. No, I'm not your maiden anymore. I'm just Chihaya Mif Mifune, the fortune teller who guides fate. Aw, oh, way to go. I wonder if Yokita son and the others will be okay. I know how they feel, though. They want to cling onto the holy stones, just as I clung to my role as the maiden. All any of us ever wanted was to be happy, to avoid our fates. Well, I mean, fate can be changed. Right. I did it, so I'm sure Yokota san and the others will be able to do, do as well. No matter how many times I have to try, I will talk to them until they understand. And when they realize the difficult truth, I'll be there to help them recover. Back in my village, people called me a monster. Here, they revered at me as a maiden. As the maiden. Even now, my heart continues to wander. Yet, you somehow saw the real me. <laughs> Not the maiden. Not a monster. Just Chihaya. Strike, son. Thank you. I can sense a deep bond of trust from Chihaya. Alright, and with that, we hit rank 9 with the Fortune Confidant. Sorry, if you hear, like, bells, that's my cat just wandering around. Kira's just wandering around at my new place. Uh, at least my new temporary place until I move into my permanent apartment for the school year. By the way, Strikes On, has anyone told you you're a bit nosy? I mean, normally someone would, wouldn't think to involve themselves in such a strenuous ordeal. Um. So, um, it's actually something I've been wondering for a while now. Is fortune telling the only reason you come to see me? It, it's not, is it? 
I just choose my words carefully. Oh no. All right, this one's gonna pull out the heartstrings, y'all. I'm sorry. Uh -oh. why do you come here? Uh -huh. This is gonna pull out the heartstrings, man. Like, she is so cute and sweet. And she obviously, like, likes the protagonist here, but I'm sorry, Cosby's one and only. I'm so sorry. Oh, I see. See, look at that. I feel so bad. Sorry. I suppose I was just feeling a bit self-conscious. But... but there's nothing better than knowing my rings will help others. Please, come have your fortune read as often as you'd like. After all, we'll forever be joined in our quest to oppose fate. Well, anyway, I should be going. Oh, until next time. I feel so bad. <laughs> She's one of the sweetest girls. I feel so bad. <laughs> I feel so bad. <sighs> oh, it's me. I'm sorry for calling so soon. I know we just saw each other. There's something I really wanted to tell you. You're the reason I was managed to talk to Yokota and San and everyone. I plan on doing all I can to support everyone at the ADP for a while. If you're in any trouble, please feel free to stop by for a consultation anytime. If I'm ever in the mood. Oh, one of those stones. I'm planning on it. Great. Please, I want to, want to help you carve a path to your future. Ashihaya Mifune, fortune teller and emissary of fate. Whoops, guess I sounded a little too full of myself just then. Maybe I'm not a monster or a maiden, I'm just Chihaya. So if you're ever in any trouble, remember, you can always come to me, okay? Well, good night and sweet dreams. Ah, oh, she's so sweet! Ah, oh, <laughs> She is so sweet, y'all. She's so sweet! <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, we were able to grab a seat. Nice. All right. In that case. No, do I not have it? Dang, I don't have it. I never went to the library, did I? Crap. I never got the Cry of Cthulhu book. I have nothing to read. <laughs> uh, I don't need knowledge. I need guts. And the Cry of Cthulhu gives you guts. Uh, <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm going to reload and be sure to get the book. Because I need that right now. Uh, let's just... I guess let's just read this for the time being. I don't even care what this book is. I don't even care what that's about. I just want to get my Cry Cthulhu book. Oh my goodness, I feel so dumb for forgetting the freaking book. Ugh, I need the guts! That's all I need. I just need more guts. Goodness. Hey there. Good morning to you. Hmm. There are a lot of students here at this hour. It's refreshing to make the work commute at the different time every now and then. Did you oversleep? Of course not. I woke up on time, although I'm, I am running late. On my way to work today, I ran into these old ladies carrying some heavy luggage, three of them in fact. So I was offering to help carry their things. But then my back made this sound that it shouldn't make. I know. Well, anyway, have you heard the news from Yoshizawa-san? I'm so happy for her. It makes me feel like I'm doing my best too. Of course, as I say that, I'm running late. Well, hey, we all need to switch it up every now and then. So let's do our best for today, shall we? Sure. <laughs> sure, Maruki. Let's get breakfast, totem pole. Yeah, really, it's a totem pole. It's so colorful, I just love fun. I don't really care what they have to say. Mm, probably the way it looks, I guess. Might improve your proficiency. I don't need proficiency. I need guts. That's what I need. Guts and guts only. 
Goodness. Oh, have you heard? Have you ever thought your phone went off, but nothing actually happened? It seems so many of us have experienced this that a term has been created for it. The English name for that particular phenomenon can be abbreviated to PBS. Would anyone tell, like to tell me what that stands for? I need an Mr. Answer. Strike, let's hear it. What is this phenomenon commonly called in English? Um. Oh, she said together. So PBS referring to when you make mistakenly think your phone is going off. What's the P? Uh, Phantom? Right. So I thought Phantom. So next is the V part. That means it'd be Phantom... Uh, vibration? Yeah, that's it. When your phone buzzes, you say it's vibrating. Last is the S, so if we have phantom vibration so far. Uh, syndrome? This is it. Good. Great English term is phantom vibration syndrome. Okay, I really don't have, I really, I really don't care what, you have, what else you have to say. Oh my goodness, I'm so mad. I forgot to cry Cthulhu book. I just need guts. I just need guts. <laughs> That's all I need. Hey. <sighs> Who's available today? What are you doing today? We could hang out at, with Futaba. We haven't done that yet. You want to go to the palace? We can hang out with you. Um. Is there anybody else that's available? Ryuji on Futaba. Shinya is not available, so we will hang out with Futaba, but before I do that, I'm going to see if I can reload past save so I can get that book, because that was kind of annoying. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, so sadly I wasn't able to, I wasn't able to get the Necro, Necro Cry Cthulhu book. Because last save was in the evening and I can't go to school in the evening to get the book. So, I guess we'll just read it another day. We'll have to get it tomorrow, or we can actually go get it now. Before we hang out with Futaba here. So we don't forget. Um. What would you like? I'd like to borrow a book. Cry of Cthulhu. Here. Yeah, and we'll, hmm. we'll read that another time. Probably like in the evening or something if it's raining. Uh, anyways. Let's go ahead and go back to Futaba and we're going to finally get on with our next link, our next uh, rank. What's up, Futaba? Welcome back. Oh, Sky, welcome home. What are you doing today? Oh, let's hang out. You know we're in the middle of an operation, right? Are you sure that you don't want to infiltrate? Oh, we'll be fine. Really? Eh, I guess I can't complain too much since you're going to be hanging with me. You have some time. I want to get cracking on that promise list I made. All right, our bond will go stronger soon. So let's hang out with Futaba. Okay, rehabilitation. Time. Let's form our battle plan. Step into my office, Sky. Sure. All right. Okie dokie. Let's let's get started on this promise list. The first one is go somewhere with lots of people. Ooh, I've got the perfect place. <laughs> Akihabara Wars: Revenge at the Futaba. You're going to Akihabara. Be careful out there. Alright, sure. Hey, hey, hey! Did you see that tablet earlier? Your drew that picture was a real pro. Not as good as Inari, though. He's got a particular pervy view of view on art. Whoa, what's going on? There's a super limited sale at the PC section. Three terabytes for only 500 yen? What a steal! They're gonna sell it in seconds! Oh, jeez. And we lost Futaba. Aww. Uh, Mayday! Mayday! I'm trapped in the home appliance kingdom. The three terabyte war rages on and outside. There are just so many people. Uh, I don't know if I can last much longer. Yeah, maybe we should go look for Tafutaba. Oh, she's right there. Ah. There you are. Hey. I. 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 I was about to come find you. Oh. 
Thanks. I didn't think I was going to see you until the end of the time. But then I thought about you while I was wonder wandering around the store, and bam, a wild guy appeared. <laughs> oh my gosh, good to see you again. So you're relieved. What an incredible coincidence, me too. What a tick. Oh wait, wait a tick. I just finished a promise. Go somewhere with lots of people. Well, am I awesome or what? It's all because of the three terabyte war, though. Oh, and because you brought me here. <laughs> I, Futaba Sakura, hereby thank thee. Aw, Futaba's so sweet. And with that, we hit rank three. All right. Cuckoo. Cool, cool. I don't know, though. I panicked hard when I was soloing that dungeon. I think not being with you is kind of scary, Sky. All right then, I'm gonna add another goal to my list, being okay without you around. It might be a long quest line, but I'll finish it someday. Phew, I'm tired. <laughs> okay, going home. All right. Oh my gosh, your top is so fun to hang out with. She's so innocent too. Hey, it's me. Thanks for your help today. So I beat the ghost summer with lots of people, goal. First try too, not bad. I'm still not sure how I'm supposed to beat, beat being okay without you around. But at this pace, I cleared it in no time, right? Eh, we'll both do our best. Woo, I got this. I don't care how hard the quests are, I'll take them all. Anyway, I guess the point is that I gotta grind for now. Leveling up for a big encounter is basic stuff. I'm going to do a little research, see if there are any other ways I can power up. <laughs> this is all kind of exciting, huh? Talk to you later. Alright. Ah, you're back. We are back. Things are getting really crazy on online. The Phantom Thieves have been trending all over the country. Not a day not not a day passes that I don't hear people talking about the Phantom Thieves in the city too. That just means people are really starting to count on us, right? This fervor may be too extreme. It, it isn't ex a dangerous omen. We could face great danger if anyone manages to discover our true identities. Don't scare us like that. In no way someone's going to figure that out. Either way, this excitement has definitely piqued the public's interest in the Phantom Thieves. We we'll need to be even more careful from now on. Why do we guys be the one sneaking around? Don't make sense. Well, what can you do? Anyways, who shall be available today? Kawakami. Nobody. Mishima's available, so we might go ahead and just hang out with him. Uh, ooh, wait, no, that's Hifumi, right? Yeah, that's only Hifumi. We can't do anything with her yet until we do the Mementos mission. Okay. Let's see. Uh, do we have a moon persona? Uh, we do. We have Tsukiyomi. Okay, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and hang out with Mishima. And I believe Mishima also has a, a Mementos request that we have to get to rank... I think it's rank 6 we have to get to for Mishima. <laughs> Fan size blowing up. So you did the request I asked you to. Thanks. Oh, so I've been researching that actor, and I came across some substantial new info. Sure, but so, well, but what? <laughs> Thanks. Let's head to the diner then. Sure. Um. So you know that actor I suggested as your next target? Apparently, he's marrying the idol from these rumors. He probably just couldn't live without him with himself after what he did to her. His reputation did a total 180 after he, after he announced the uh, marriage, though. People used to hate him, but not all everyone wants to talk about is how sweet and manly he is. At any rate, we can't oppose the will of the public. Good thing we decided not, we decided not to change his heart. Support for the Phantom Thieves would, would have really dropped if we had. I need to make sure our next target is one, is one we can win against. Okay. Give me just a second. Okay, you're so reliable, dude. 
I guess. I mean, this is my job. I'm your producer, remember? Oh, by the way, I came up with a new plan of attack. If we really want to make you guys famous, we need to do more than just answering promising requests. Right now, there are tons of idiots out there doubting you and trying to influence others to do the same. So, we're going to purge them. That's... You need to chill, dude. Sorry, Sorry about that. Purge is a pretty disturbing word, huh? There's not really any better way to phrase it, though. The truth is, I looked up some of the, these idiots who were criticizing you and sent them warning messages. You know, something like, if you don't change your wicked ways, you'll be our next target. Whoa, dude! I'll have you know, it's been working wonders. They I, they totally stopped di uh, dissing the P thieves. There are still some people who say they don't, they don't believe, but deep down, they're just afraid of you guys. <laughs> Isn't this great? N no, dude! Plus now, now all those haters are gone. People are putting a bunch more info into the forum. Post after post after post. It's all please and help me. <laughs> this is so much fun. Dude, you're really starting to worry me. All I did to find my own way to change people's hearts. I'm above the simple stuff like producing and advertising now. I can change the world. I have the strength to do that now. Oh. Eh. <sighs> Kiyama-kun. Yo, Mishima. I haven't seen your face since graduation. <laughs> we actually saw each other not that long ago. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Hmm? Uh, Kiyama-kun? What? Are you okay? What do you mean? Does it look like I'm, I ain't okay? I don't know, you just seem quiet. Shut your mouth, Zero. I don't got time to be listening to you. Zero. Damn it. He acts like I'm a total nothing. But he still takes time to try and mess with me. I've changed, though. I'm way better than the loser like him. I even heard he's been hanging out with some shady people. They're all scum. I wish we could change their hearts for the good of our society. Oh. Wait, that's it. We can change his heart instead of that actor's. All right, it's decided. Your next target is going to be Akiyama-kun. Let's see, where is his info? Um, speaking of targets, are you guys gonna come after me someday too? I mean, are you feeling guilty? Huh? You're really considering it? Huh? Good joke, Scrag. See you around. Anyway, I'm in Nome. I'll send you Akiyama Kun's info later. <sighs> oh my goodness. So he just wants to get revenge on a guy who made fun of him? Didn't he give us some other weird requests too? Something about that handsome actor? Is Mishima Kun trying to take advantage of us? Apparently, he, was, he has also threatened anyone who dares speak ill of the Phantom Thieves on his forum. Perhaps we should enact a change of heart in Mishima, not this Akiyama fellow. Wait, hold on. Whoa, wait up. He ain't that bad. Yep. Hmm. I guess we could find out what's happening if we manage to find his, his shadow. I mean, he's already worried that we're going to change his heart, right? We'll probably be able to track down his shadow mementos. All things considered, I think our best course of action would be to defeat it and change his heart. Mishima-kun. It feels almost wrong to consider such an option. But... We can't have him keep causing problems for us, though. Either way, we can decide whether or not we change his heart later. For now, we should uh, we must meet his shadow. Alright, let's go. Now, let's carry out our plan. Yeah, let's head into Mementos and track down Mishima's shadow. Who are you? Could you be the Phantom Thieves? <laughs> so you want to change my heart? Even after everything I've done for you guys? Me, of all people. If you just shut up and listen to what I told you, the Phantom Thieves would get even more famous. And if you did that, 
I'd get some some of the spotlight too. It wouldn't be just some stupid zero anymore. There's finally some hope back in my life, so why? Why are you so insistent on stopping me? Yo, losers, get out of here. I want to talk to your leader, alone. All right. This is all your fault. Before you came along, I knew my role in life. I was supposed to be the guy everyone messed with. I had accepted, I accepted that well, I was a zero. Embraced it even. But once I figured out you were one of the Phantom Thieves, everything changed. You just had to get close to me. Damn it. I mean, seeing a real life hero do all this amazing stuff made me wish I could do something more. I want to change society too. I want the world to notice me. If I can just make the Phantom Thieves famous, maybe I'll end up famous too. Would that really satisfy you though? I don't know. I'm not sure. But I don't have any other choice. I don't have any special powers like you guys. Heck, nobody even pays attention to me. In the end, that's why I need you guys. You're the only way I would be able to make thing a name for myself. I know it's wrong. But if I can't push my way into a spotlight now, then will I? A anyway, just bring it on already. You're here to fight, aren't you? Wh what? You aren't going to change my heart? There's no need. Hey, Come on, let's go. I'm sure you learned something if he's uh, been spending all this time with us amazing heroes, yeah. No. I need the Phantom Thieves. I need to be famous. I need to. Hey. Well then. That's Mishima for you. Fan up these merch. Oh my goodness. Fan up these merch. Well, I went to buy a present for my grandchild the other day. They had a Phantom Thieves costume on sale. It spelled the end of this country if kids started wanting to become more like the Phantom Thieves. You're already in your second year of high school. You should have a clear vision of your future. If you're looking for safety and stability, a civil servant is a good option. Hey, strike! Why don't you I bet try? you all think that civil service is all office work. But the fishmen of Na Nagaragawa are actually actually civil servants as well. So tell me, which sector they belong to? The uh, Imperial Household Agency. This is it. Very oh, ho, I'm impressed you knew that. Only the uh, Comer and Fishmen of Nagaragawa are officially used by the Imperial Household. Those fishmen are granted spots on the Imperial Household Agency's board of ceremonies. That said, you can't break into that industry even if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to, since it's a hereditary occupation. If you want a government job, try for a spot in the diet. Through some, though some may uh, say that's hereditary too. Oh my God, he's actually smart. Oh my goodness, but he's like at max knowledge already. I'm not even at max knowledge. Yeah, yeah. I'm honestly, fed up with politicians these days. Isn't there anyone who seriously wants to improve this country? Hmm. Uh, they're the complete opposite of us, our popularity. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. What's up, Kiara? She's just chilling under my desk. Who's the old today? What are we doing today? We're not going to the palace today, if that's what you're wondering. Is anybody available, though? Makoto's available. Futaba's also available. Um, Shinya is also available. Let's see. We're at rank three with Futaba, rank eight with Makoto. And what are we at with Shinya? We're at rank two with Shinya. Um, in that case, we're gonna hang out with uh Makoto, cause we're gonna be the closest to maxing her out next after uh. 
Maruki. But I believe Maruki's uh, goes through. I think you progress his f uh, confidant through the story. I think. I don't know. I think that's what I've heard. But I guess we'll see what happens. So we're going to hit with Makoto in the next episode. So thank y'all so very much for watching. And I'll see y'all next time for some more P5R.